David Viscott, and welcome back. Who do we have? Okay, we have Ray on line 11, and he's 34 years old and a virgin. Thank God. Ray. Hello. Hi. No, not thank God that you're a virgin, but thank God it's, it's, it's a call that feels like something normal. I have to do something normal for a change here, too. Well, uh, congratulations. I'm happy to hear you're alive. Me, too. You and your family. Yeah. It's just crazy. I hope DJ can make some sense of all this. Yeah. Well, we've got somebody here, anyhow. Okay. Um, so you're a virgin. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not a, a really uh, the sex. It's that I don't have a companion. Uh, the last girlfriend I had was the one I was back in 1985. And we got to be real close, and I found out she was using cocaine. And um, I asked her to take a choice, and it was really hard for me. And she couldn't make a choice, so I said, okay. Then it's uh, uh, the cocaine for you because I can't live with that. And uh, I made the choice, and I had to get away from her. And it's been now about long since I've had a girlfriend. Since 85? Yeah. Seven years? Yeah. And what do you do? You're all alone? You don't date? Uh, no, I'm, I'm an epileptic, and I uh, don't have a driver's license, and it's hard for me to ask anybody out because I feel that, um, you know, I said, well, you'll have to drive in order to go anywhere. And I feel like that's like a detriment, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, I'm comfortable about that. Too bad you didn't live in New York or San Francisco. Then it wouldn't be a problem. You take a cab. Yeah. How do you get around? Well, uh, bicycle. I I bicycle it everywhere. I would think it'd be more difficult to drive a bicycle if you were an epileptic than it would be to drive a car. Um. Is that is that a close? No, not really. I. Uh, uh, have you ever had a seizure driving a, a, a bicycle? Uh, yes, I have. But now uh, that was. Before they were really controllable. Now they're really controllable, and my doctor has given me permission to go uh, get a driver's license. Oh, so that's a change. Yeah, that, that just recently happened. Well, congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so, what are you doing to meet, meet women? Pardon me? What are you doing to meet women? Well, um, I was going to ask. <laughs> You're going to ask me? Yeah. Hey, I, I, I have to know where we're starting from. Well, um, I, uh, I am going back to school and getting um, uh, a degree uh, okay. for um, uh, my high school diploma. I did never graduate it. And then I'm going back and taking retail merchandising classes. And um, do, you, do you belong to a bicycle club? No, I don't. I would join a bicycle club. I bet you could meet a lot of nice girls bicycling. That's a good idea. I never thought of that. How could you have not thought of that? And do I, you bicycle so much? <laughs> I don't know. But that's good. Do you have a do you have a road bike or a trail bike? Pardon me? Do you have one of those trail bikes or a road bike? I have a mountain bike. So there's a lot of room for that. You could do one of those single uh, ads and say, uh, well, healthy male uh, with with clean record <laughs> uh, wishes to to climb mountains and bike with girl. Yeah. Scale new peaks together. You know that's it. Yeah. But um, no, I I, I wanted I, I get to, I don't even want to go to family, family gatherings. I've got a lot of um, why? Well, because I got uh, brothers and sisters here that are married and and they're asking you questions. Pardon me? They yeah. Ask, yeah, they ask you questions. Come on, let's join a bike club and uh, get into the woods and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, because I don't want to like going to these dance clubs or anything. You like don't that. have to do what you like best. The way you meet other people is do what's normal and natural for you and then you meet other people who do the same thing okay. it's always right underneath your nose okay but if you you know if you try to get uppity and, and start attending concerts when you hate concerts you meet someone who who you don't feel comfortable with yeah correct okay thank you all right you take care have a nice day night nice Good night goodbye goodbye I don't even want to let him go. <laughs> Things could be exciting for him very soon. Yes, yes. We have to go to a commercial. We'll be right back.